Last example we'll look at right here for long division. Uh, we're going to divide 6x to the fourth plus 5x to the third plus 3x minus 5 by 3x squared minus 2x. So as you can see, I've already set up my problem. Uh, I need to make sure that they're in descending order. And then if I'm missing any terms, I need to hold the place value. Okay? This isn't a must for every single problem, but it's a good habit to get into because we will be required to do it later on. So as you can see, uh, my uh, divisor had a quadratic term and a, and a linear term. So I wrote in plus zero for my constant. Over here I had a fourth degree term, a uh, cubic term, and then I was missing a quadratic. So I wrote that in. So as you can see, that's what I mean by holding place value. And then we just start the game. So uh, 3x squared, what I have to multiply 3x squared by to give me 6x to the fourth? And that answer is going to be 2x squared. Notice I'm lining up my terms again, so I'm going to take this and multiply it by all three of those. 6x, 6x to the fourth, and then minus 4x to the third, and then plus 0x squared. I'm going to go ahead and subtract, so these, these signs will change. Notice I change all of them, and my goal is for the first two to cancel. And then when I add these together, I'll get 9x to the third, plus 0x squared and then I'll bring down the 3x. So again I go back over here and I'll look and say what do I multiply this by to give me this right here and that answer is going to be a positive 3x. When I take this and multiply it by all three of these I will get 9x to the third uh, minus 6x squared and then plus 0x. I'm subtracting so I'll change those signs it's important that you change all of them. If you're going to get in a habit and miss something, it's probably that you're only going to change the first sign. When you add these together, you get 6x squared, and then plus 3x. And then lastly, we'll bring down the negative 5. So again, what we do is we say, what do I have to multiply this by to give me this right here? And that answer is a positive 2. And I'm going to take that positive 2 and multiply it by all three of these. So I'll get 6x squared minus 4x and then plus 0. I'm subtracting, so I'll change the signs of each one of my terms, and then I'll add them together. The goal is for those to cancel. And then when I do this, uh, this will give me 7x minus 5. So this right here is my remainder. And the way I show my remainder in my problem is I put plus my remainder, 7x minus 5, over my divisor of 3x squared minus 2x. So that's the last example of long division.